Hey guys, we're back again, and here's another wild edible. It is called sumac, and as you can see, there are the nice fresh berry clusters. There's what the leaves look like. And it grows pretty abundantly along this field here. Now this is one of my favorites. Um, the berries are edible raw, although they might not taste the best. So what people mainly do is they make uh, what is called bush lemonade out of this. And you'll pick a bunch of these berry clusters off and um, you'll soak them in cold water for eight hours or eight to 12 hours. And um, it makes quite a tasty lemonade that's a little hint of sour, but I have made it um, not too long ago. and. I was surprised at how delicious it was. So, if you see this, give it a try. And uh, the drink and the berries in general are packed high with vitamin C. Great way to get vitamin C. And the lemonade with um, an added sweetener, like um, sugar, honey, brown sugar, um, whatever you like, um, tasted like like watermelon juice that was a little bit soury and then it had that sweetness oh it was delicious such a unique taste so if you see this stuff growing around give it a try guys and maybe i'll make a video for you guys soon of how to make the lemonade but if you don't know how just look it up it is quite easy quite simple and um i don't know if i'll have any details on this plant actually unfortunately but it does grow worldwide for the most part um, there are a few variations but they all look very very much the same with these red and they are a little bit oily waxy fuzzy berries here um, and apparently if you take the berries and you mush them up a bit and you lick your fingers it'll have a little bit of a salt and vinegary kind of taste so do your research on sumac it is great healthy plant for you those are some of last year's berries. Um, these are some new fresh ones. Now, apparently the best time to make the lemonade out of sumac is um, not right after it rains because apparently it washes away a lot of the oily substance on the berries, which actually gives the drink its flavor. So you want to do it when it's, it's roughly late summer, apparently is the best time to harvest them. And uh, you want to do it on a week where it hasn't rained for a bit. And that's how you'll get the best flavor out of these guys. Now, what I recommend is taking about six of these big clusters like this and putting them in about a liter, a liter and a half of water. Um, and you can adjust that to your taste and mix it up. Wait eight hours or so. That's roughly how you make bush lemonade. Um, so anyways, guys, I think that's it on this one. Um, just do your research on it. There's lots of great stuff to learn about this plant. And it looks beautiful, I must say looks absolutely beautiful so take care guys and we will see you soon